<laughs> so, <laughs> sometimes these knockoffs, they're a bit more original, you know, they don't directly rip off another character or anything, they, they just, they make their own thing for a series, which is, you know, extremely tactful. <laughs> Titanic bot. <laughs> If you've never seen a picture of this before, you are indeed reading that bit of ridiculousness correctly, Titanic Bot. I mean, it's one thing to make everyone super sad that Leonardo DiCaprio seriously died when the Titanic sunk, but it's another to make the Titanic a Transformer. I don't even know what you say to something like this. I mean, on the one hand, this was a real-life tragedy, and it's kind of disrespectful. But on the other hand, it's too ridiculous to be offended at, and you gotta love it. And, you know, big surprise, Titanic Bot Transformable has a lot of things in common with the Transformers package. It lets you know it transforms from... <laughs> Robot to Titanic and back. So, you know, it can go back and forth, just like the real Titanic. <laughs> yeah, they not going there. Fuck you, Titanic Bot. And like with Bat Bot Changer, Titanic Bot's packaging is styled much like a G1 Transformer. They even copied the art style on the G1 packaging almost exactly. Titanic Bot also comes with sailing action. Well, <laughs> never mind. Titanic Bot comes to us from China again, and from what I can tell, saw distribution primarily in North America. And that's probably because that's where they could do the most damage and have people outraged! And Mexico could say, well, that's better than most of our bootleg knockoffs. In fact, according to the import sticker on the back of my Titanic Bot here, Mexico is where mine was originally from, and then sent to the States where I got it from. And quite amazingly, Titanic Bot actually has a company attached to it. Yes, someone actually wanted to have their name put on Titanic Bot. But hey, they don't give no flying fucks at flying dragon toys! Or just dragon toys. That's kind of confusing. And guess what? They still exist! And it's still confusing! If the most prominent part of the logo didn't omit the flying, it wouldn't be as much, but that and their domain is just dragon toys. They seem to mostly focus on Transformers knockoffs with some awesome fast food and digital bots. Yeah, those probably make you feel a lot less guilty about owning them than <laughs> this. The X-Bot Transformable series seems to be their main one, which I guess Titanic Bot is sort of a part of since it's got Transformable in its name as well. Or you could get the Generation 2 version that slightly remolds him into not the Titanic anymore. Gee, <laughs> why would you want that? Or there's Beast Wars knockoffs that seem to always conveniently cover up half their Jurassic Park font logo. And for something not Transformers, they got candy dispensers. Also Transformers candy dispensers, led by Nautimus Prime himself. But what might be the most surprising is good old Titanic Bot is still up for purchase on their website. So go get a fresh Titanic Bot so you can hide it so no one ever knows how disgusting you are to ever purchase such a thing. Glad that's what I did the opposite of. And good to know, if your children aren't quite old enough for Transformers yet, well, maybe they're old enough for Titanic Bot. I mean, sure, they both got small parts and everything, but I definitely feel more comfortable introducing kids to Titanic Transformers than mini cassette Transformers. Well, out of the package, and Titanic Bot is certainly ready to. <sighs> I've seen a lot of Made in China labels before, but was I really worried about where it was patented? Oh well, at least by knowing it's all China, I know it's quality paint. And by that I mean it's possibly lead paint. Ooh, delicious. <coughs> 
And you see, much like with the real Titanic, Titanic Bot's engine runs on twisting action. Impressed? Not really, maybe we should put it in water. All right, guys, are you ready for the maiden voyage of the Titanic? <laughs> I can't win with anything I say about this stupid toy. All right, let's just see if this thing can stay afloat. For fuck's sake. Let's just see if this thing works. It sails! Woo! Wow, this is exciting. I'm impressed it worked though. Now let's see how its engine power does. Really gives you resistance to try and put this in the water before it you know, wants to shoot its load, <clears throat> so to speak. Oh, oh, oh! Yay! Look at it go! Is that it? It's like they want you to turn this while it's already underwater. Not very... Ugh. And then it sprays water everywhere. <laughs> Goes sideways and then it speeds and hits the side. Woo! Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm sending it left to right. I gotta send it right to left. I'll pretend that's the problem. Oh, oh, come on. Woohoo! Clunk. Now, how big of an asshole would I be if I put ice in there? Haha! <laughs> I'm doing a Titanic Transformer. It's too late for dignity now. Ooh, it avoided the ice. Nice. This is the easiest way to do it without it spinning on you. Woo! Pfft. And that's the excitement of being an asshole with your Titanic bot in the water. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is a Transformer, right? Now that the terribleness is semi over, let's get to transforming this Titanic. Luckily, Titanic Bot Transformable has the transformation instructions on the back. And uh, this is always before and this is always after. Yeah, unless I'm transforming them back into the Titanic, idiot. Dun, dun, dun. I do love smokestacks that turn into axe-like things. Who knew this son of a bitch was under there the whole time? Done. He's got for leg posability. Ta-da! The bot part of Titanic bot, and he's much more sturdy. <clears throat> it's almost like something makes him back heavy. Well, I suppose this does have a good use in robot mode as well. <laughs> Jokes! <laughs> or maybe it makes him fly or something to be less of an idiot. <laughs> well, Titanic Bot's transformation was pretty simple. Probably didn't need those instructions, though it's always nice when they include them so you at least know when you're done. And it certainly looks a lot more like a finished robot than Pepper Changer! Though, being based on the Titanic, I have a feeling this guy be kinda screwed up and might do some things that were slightly questionable. 
Dr. Titanic Mod, I haven't been feeling so good lately. My tapes are so swollen they won't fit in my chest anymore. And I prematurely ejected Frenzy. Oh no, did Frenzy get upset? I don't know. I haven't seen him in a month. Well, why don't you lay down and say, ah? That's stupid. I'm a robot, but okay. Uh... No, not like that. Like this. Ah! Uh... There you go. As good as new. I hate you, Titanic Pot. Megatron, you've made some pretty sick and twisted Transformers over the years, but this is gonna be the most insensitive thing you've ever done. What? I may be sick and twisted, Prime, but I have my limits. I would never... I thought this was one of yours. What? The Autobots would never make a Titanic bot. Well, the Decepticons would never make a boat. We don't need a stupid boat. We fly, Prime. You're right. It doesn't make any sense. Well, someone's got to take the blame for this. You're right, Prime. But who can we stick this on? Papa Changer. I think I know just the guy. Papa Changer, go get Hot Rod. This is a momentous day, Prime! The Decepticons and Autobots finally unite in their hatred of... Uh... The Hot Rodians! Yes, that's good, Prime. But Prime, I didn't actually make this Titanic bot. Shut up, Hot Rod! You've gone too far this time. You disgust me, Hot Rod. I'm not even Hot Rod, I'm Rodimus Prime, you two! Who cares? Oh no, I think they're serious. I think I'm actually kicked out of the Autobots. It's alright, you may not be my real dad, but you can tell me your problems. Why don't you have lay down on my table and tell me all about it? Alright, thank you, Titanic Bot. You see, it all started when I was a young horror! The plastic quality is really solid on this guy, right up there with actual Transformers that don't have die-cast pieces and weren't made in Generation 2. It feels a little lightweight, but part of its gimmick is floating, so that makes sense, and it actually does that extremely well. Its sailing action isn't a lie either, as its wind-up propeller does its job, but it works better if you wind it up under the water. If it wasn't for the questionable vehicle mode, I could believe this was an actual Transformer. Only downside is, despite having a much better robot mode than Batbot, it still doesn't have a whole lot of posability. A few extra joints in the arms were certainly doable and would have helped this a lot, and the legs could have, well, had anything as they are just static eight. They made their own mold, gave it sailing action, and someone was certainly creative in a very deranged way to think of making a Titanic Bot 8. Come on, could I even possibly not say it's weird to have a Transformer who turns into the Titanic? I don't even know what the statement is about this thing. To boast that it's a really powerful robot, then it's immediately destroyed? Sorry, but really, what? the hell is this? Nine. The package, again, as mentioned, has elements that resemble a Generation 1 Transformers package. There is a variant of the package which also houses a variant of the Titanic bot in robot mode instead. This one boasts it's new, which is always a good sign of desperation and has Chinese on it. This version of Titanic Bot has eaten too many carrots and has turned orange from the golden face on mine. Also, it either has more paint details like the two red dots by the head 
finally has wondering where those were. Or it's got less and doesn't even have the arms painted. But I gotta tell you, when you're looking for Titanic bots, avoid the new one as it apparently does not feature sailing action as the wind-up propeller has been removed. Anyway, it's got enough quality to it and it certainly lets you know what road you're going down by buying this, six. This depends on your OFFENDEDNESS level about this thing being based on the Titanic. If you're all, uh, OH MY GOD at this thing, you're probably sitting at a zero. If you find it just silly and want a Titanic Transformer, it certainly is just that, so 10. And the bootleg zones overall is 9. If I were more on the offended side, I probably never would have shown this. To me, it's just silly with a side of questionable. Its gimmicks work perfectly, and its heart will go on and on and on. But that's it. <laughs> Check out my Patreon for early mid-roll free episodes, meaning no ads will play in the middle, and other perks. Look at me, I'm Hot Rod, the Matrix changes me because I'm so incompetent! <laughs> Good one, Prime, let's go get drunk. Stuffy, do you trust me? No! Whatever, come over here anyway, put your arms out. I'm blind, Black Hero!